Hey everyone, this is Horizon, and today I'm going to give you some basics to get you through what I consider to be the hardest regular boss in Cuphead, Cala Maria, or as many people like to call her, the Sea Witch. Like almost every boss in Cuphead, the Sea Witch has three phases. The first is a hectic mess of dodging floating pufferfish, pirate ghosts, electric homing swordfish, fire spitting fish, and a turtle full of exploding bombs. A seahorse also pops in sometimes to push you up with a water funnel, but you can parry your way through that easy enough. Each of these are easy enough to dodge individually, but the combination is what makes them tricky. Most attacks have a parry option for extra special charge, and with your extra mobility as the plane, I recommend trying for them to make sure these phases go by as quickly as possible. The signal that you've hit phase 2 is when two electric eels pop up and bite the sea witch. This phase only has two things you have to keep an eye on. Projectiles coming from the eels directly, and the sea witch going medusa mode on you and turning you to stone. Button mash when that happens to break out of it quickly because the bullet spray coming from the eels can quickly fill up the screen. The key here is swapping to your secondary fire, the bomb, to take out the eels. Don't focus too much on killing all of them, just a majority of them. After you thin the eels down, swap back to your primary fire to land some shots on her head. Keep some distance away from her to ensure you have maximum time to break out of being petrified and avoid being hit. Phase 3 is short, but the most intense. Calamaria's head pops off and begins floating down a tight, spike-filled tunnel. Her only two attacks this phase are a slow-moving skull projectile and a petrification blast. But the combination of the two, along with the spiked cave and floating spike bars, can knock out your remaining health quickly if you're not careful. Keep your distance from the Sea Witch, plug away at her with some mini-missiles, and be very aware of where the spikes are ahead of time so you know where to go immediately after you break out of stone. This fight is incredibly frustrating and has elements of luck tied to every phase, but with persistence and focus you'll be able to eventually put the Sea Witch down. Thank you so much for watching this guide, and let me know down in the comments if there are bosses from any other games or Cuphead you would like to see me do. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time.